we get this final heat underway. We will have a new Bells champion in 2016. Matt Wilkinson chasing his second win for the season and looking to make a huge gap between himself and his rivals on the Jeep leaderboard. Geordie Smith hasn't had a victory since Trestles 2014. <laughs> Is it a wee off and running? We are. Barton, just quickly, give us your pick for the win. Oh, Struth. Matty Wilco. Ooh. Ross. Geordie. I'll stick with Geordie, but, ooh, yeah. Geordie. It's going to be a good battle. <laughs> I think that Geordie, a tough one. Geordie Smith's going to get back on the podium as we see Matt Wilkinson take the first ride. This is going to be good. The final of the 2016 Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach will get underway. Joe Topel and Martin Potter will call the action. We talk about the experience. The guys that just dominate the Bells Bowl year after year will have a brand new name on top of the list to have their turn at ringing the bell. We had Wilco take off quickly to a .83. And now Jordy Smith threw a lot of foam on the face, lays down a solid layback hack off the top. Plenty of water to work with. Nice controlled forehand arc. Late oh. hit on the finish, and he goes down. Joe Trapel alongside 89 Bells champ. Really can't really think of the last few years. Here's uh, Wilco. He'll lay down quickly. So slow start for Wilco. Jordy Smith will have an early lead as we look at Jordy's first win. Yeah, Jordy Smith. I mean, this is this is what Jordy's good at. You know, riding waves like this, really tricky. A lot of bump on the face, obviously riding a bigger board than most. Watch this turn right here. Draws off the bottom and then just drops the hammer on a huge maneuver from Geordie Smith. Nice, silky smooth, cut back again and then goes for that two for one combo that we talk about and we talk about getting on a roll. Talk about, you know, just making things happen. And here goes Geordie. Let's see what he can do. Geordie Smith paddles in with a little whitewater chip to help him out. Just a bottom turn and a kick out from Smith. Oh. They'll take the set on the head. Why? Because the second wave of the set is a lot cleaner. Matty Wilco with priority. And here he goes. Wilkinson now setting up this backhand weapon. Just touches the rail on the bottom turn. And a quick jam off that whitewater corner. Nice vertical re-entry on the second effort. Top turn wrap. Wilco starting to heat up. Another backside top turn. Big section to work with now, jams it perfectly. The crowd getting behind Wilco as he's running into the inside. One more move, late decision, he comes down with it. Smith on the very next wave. Smith can easily hear the response from the Australian crowd backing Matty Wilkinson's backhand. Smooth carbon transition. Little redirect to set up the finish. Nice and vertical off the roof. Smith into the double up, pulling it off without a problem. Wow. Let's have a look at this opening couple of turns here from Geordie. Beautiful swooping maneuver back into the power source. Letting that wave stand up nice and vertical before he starts to unleash a few more turns. Big wrap around cut back. Again, just driving those that board back into the, the white water, waiting for it to stand up. Look at a downtime right here, but judges won't mind that too much. You've got to set that inside up nicely. Smith going for the two sort of combo through the inside. Another turn right there, and then this is that critical section. Smith bashing it. Comes flying out of the white water right there. So Geordie Smith finishing off on his feet, which is very, very important here to maximize the scoring potential. Matty Wilk, on the other hand, let's have a look at his first couple of turns. Draws off the bottom. Nice jam in the pocket right there. Watch this turn. Dwarf gets those fins out the back of the wave. Three solid maneuvers to kick things off here. A little bit more energy right now in Matty Wilco's wave. Another nice rotation right there from Matty Wilco. Brings it through the inside. He's got to finish off on his feet, which he does. Wow, that's going to be a great score from Matt Wilkinson and from above. Can see how fast you're going. Can see how critical it is to get those turns in the right place. Now he starts to drive off that turn, gets up and over the back. Beautiful vision here from the drone as Matty Wilco brings this one through the inside. You can see a little bit more pizzazz, a little bit more intent. Jams it off the top again. So Matty Wilco, some great surfing from him. I think might have a little bit of an advantage there to finish this one off, Joe. 
Jordy Smith, though, he answers right back. Jordy Smith with a 5.67. Here goes Matty Wilco. Wilkinson, quick to hack it off the top. Now he's into a little reset turn just to fade into the pocket. He'll hug that white water until he likes a section to work with. Slashing it right under the lip. Deeper off the bottom and a big vertical. Snap off the top, Wilkinson on fire. Great timing and rhythm through the flats and firing off when it gets vertical. Once again, a big backhand jam. Wilco on fire. Strider's in the middle of the crowd. What's it like down there, buddy? So using his priority, nice vertical turn to kick things off. This is what geordie has got to be careful of. Matty Wilco's got that X factor, that ability to get that board nice and vertical. I like the fact that he didn't try and push the issue right here, just milking it through, getting those fins ready for when the wave does stand up, and now he reacts. Gets that board all the way back around. Matty Wilco driving off that back foot. This is uh, that 8.17. Like the way he's taking his time, he's playing the patient game, making sure he finishes off. And you can see there, he needs two new waves, Joe. He needs two wave total of 17.38 if he wants to get himself that bell. He's looking for it now. Smith off the bottom, needing a big answer. He'll float the white water out the back. Nice, easy pace to that forehand wrap. Looking for something major here. Hard off the bottom, a huge rooftop hack. Another big float off the top for Jordy Smith. Had a little bit of energy, but ran out of room, so he'll get out of there. He's bringing Wilco back down, so he takes every heat with intensity to win, so he doesn't celebrate too early. This is Jordy now. Solid wave out the back. He'll glide out in front, and he's over it. Not the wave he was looking for. Wilco still out front. Jordy Smith trying to break the combo with nine minutes on the clock. Also under the priority of Matty Wilkinson. Wilco looking at this wave as a chance to improve that 17.37 combined total. Mid face bottom turn. Going to work off the top with a big jam oh. on that section, but he loses it. Likes to remember the legacy of the greats that came before as we have Jordy Smith on a very important wave. Down to 542 on the clock. Layback hack in a big whitewater section, but he can't pick himself back up. One, let's take a moment to see how he got this solid combination over Jordy Smith as he got his 9.2 relatively early in this matchup, Potts. Yeah, a couple of quick rolls of the dice for Matty Wilco. Nothing too much to talk about, but then dropped this absolute bomb. And it's these, that backside turn, I mean, Probably not doing as many as he did at Snapper, so each turn is going to be worth a lot more dollar-wise when this comes <laughs> out. But finishing off his waves, picking the right ones, making sure he does that nice smooth surfing. Jordy Smith kind of fought back a little bit, a 7.33 and a 6.83. Good enough to win early heats in, the, in this event, but not the finals. The finals, you need to be dropping bombs. You need to have saved a little bit in the tank, and it looks like uh, Jordy Smith with 3 minutes and 50 seconds remaining. He's looking for two big scores still. Surfing incredibly well, but unfortunately, Matty Wilco with two solid scores. Opened up with a 9-2, backed it up with an 8-1-7. Joe just on fire right now. A back-to-back -back connection for Wilco to get his top two scores. 8-1-7 for great decisions on the open face. And he knows how to square up nice and vertical when the lip shows up here at Bells. Spent a ton of time here as a junior. Told us he felt more comfortable with Bells than Snapper, but with the feeling of wearing the Jeep yellow jersey, he is unstoppable. One more closeout finish for Wilco and still has a solid lead. Matty Wilco's name is going to be on that uh, trophy by the end of the day. Well, Potts, you know the feeling that Wilco's experiencing through his body. Probably can't even feel his limbs. He's surfing just on pure adrenaline and glory. With 20 seconds to go, we will celebrate this ride from Matt Wilkinson, world number one on top of the Jeep leaderboard, and now making it official with some big backhand blows. We'll close this one out right on the buzzer. And Matt Wilkinson is your 2016 Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach champion. Back-to-back -back wins to start off the year on the Samsung Galaxy Championship Tour. And he has a lot of breathing room on the Jeep leaderboard. That he does. That he does. He's uh, created a lot of daylight between him and second place.
amazing stuff from uh, Matt Wilkinson. I want to see the smile on his dad's face. <laughs> Mia Wilkinson, his number one fan. Wilco puts his hands to the sky. And he had a lot of nines throughout this event, but this whitewater ride might be one of his favorite waves of the contest. <laughs> Uh, wow. Matty Wilco, you little legend. Amazing composure from Wilco to come from behind in matchups as he'll let it all hang out on the sand. A crowd favorite. He's been entertaining us for the last decade on the QS and the CT. Now his seventh year full-time on the championship tour. His best friend, Nick Paulette and Filmer, the first one to congratulate him as they'll prepare for the long journey up the beach. He's starting to get used to this chair and feeling. Two in a row for Matt Wilkinson. I'm telling you, it's contagious. It's uh, one, of the, one of the most amazing feelings in the world. And once you've uh, experienced it, that's all you want to do. Surfing in front of his major sponsor. Wilco got recognized at a young age for freakish talent. He's one of the nicest, funniest guys on tour. And for the first time ever, we're talking about a world title threat for Matt Wilkinson here in 2016. Feeling started early for Wilco. QS win at Newcastle showed his form and intent for 2016 and back-to-back -back wins on the main stage. And takes one for the Goofy Footer. So first time since 1998 when Aki won. A 17-year hiatus from that backside attack. And Wilco just might be the goofiest of them all. 